Hello. Well, it's me, Nancy, today, and I am in the new room, the addition. We put a table in here, a table and some nice chairs, and some flowers in the corner. It's um, not done. Gee, I haven't looked at myself lately. <clears throat> it's hard to have a conversation with you when I'm talking and looking at me. I know what it is. I have hat hair. Because I went out today. Well, I'm going to have lunch. I made some... Um, something. I made soybeans. Mm. I'll tell you how I made them if you want, but I'm not going to show you. I already did it. But you take the soybeans, <coughs> which are round little yellow things. Whitish yellow. And you rinse them, pick out any little stones or twigs, and then <clears throat> and then put them in the pressure cooker. I usually, you know, they're on the bottom, they're about this many. And I, I have a lot of water, usually. And I, I let them, I, I put them in the pressure cooker, right? And I pressure cook them for about 40 minutes. But now they will foam, and you get all those little um, shells will come to the surface. So what you could do is you can soak them overnight and rinse them, and sometimes you can those shells will fall, will flow away. And uh, or you could boil them for a few minutes, and then the shells might come to the top. Stir them around a bit. Anyway, those are just some ways you can get rid of. Them. We well, don't have to. I I didn't get rid of mine. They're not into falling off. I mean, look at this. This this has the. Um, let me see if I can make it focus there. So um, I tapped the screen where I wanted it to focus. Anyway, so this soybean skin never never came off. There it is. There. It could, but it didn't. Well, you don't have to eat them. You can. Anyway, the rest the rest should be soft enough that you squish it between your tongue and the roof of your mouth. And it should just go right down to goo. And if so, it's done. Now, soy means have no flavor, pretty much. No, but... And they take on the flavor of whatever you put with them. So when I open mine up to check them and see if they're done, they're not usually done. And in order to open it, I bring the pressure cooker to the... Um, to, you have to use a pressure cooker to do this in just 40 minutes. It'll take at least five hours to make to cook soybeans from scratch. Anyway, over your campfire. <clears throat> anyway, so you you cook them till they're done or not quite done and you just check after 40 minutes and they might be done and they might not. And then I added a, a spoonful of um, garlic, uh, minced garlic. It comes in a jar with, covered with oil. Anyway, I put that in. See, that's it going in. Yeah. And then I put in a few big onions and I put in cumin, coriander, and hot red pepper. I, I use I have a mix of that together in a jar. I, I mixed them together into it. And so it makes a curry. It is a curry, I guess. It's awesome. And so I put that in there. And then I went around and found other things I had. I found I had a bunch of mushrooms sliced, didn't know what to do with them, tossed them in, and a bag of baby carrots, they went in. And then when I was all done, then I added yellow beans, a can of yellow beans and a can of peas, because I like that sort of stuff, you know. There's the, 
don't know if it's going to focus it. Whatever. Not my problem. I found a, a hair twister curling iron at the dump the other day. It looks nice when it goes back, doesn't it? Not that it ever gets to do anything it doesn't feel like doing. It does what it does. I really shouldn't be looking there. I should look out at this lovely view. You can't see any of the lovely views, can you? There's one lovely view. You want to look at what I'm looking at? Now, if I had a selfie stick in my hand, see? Isn't that beautiful? I hope it's focusing for you. Let me just check it. There. And then there's this way. And there's this way. I turned the heat on behind me just a minute ago. I usually don't ever use electric heaters, but I just wanted to sit out here and enjoy it. So I put the table, the table was in the living room. Oh, I thought I wanted it out here. I just wanted it in the middle of these windows. And it's working out perfectly. I love it. That table isn't going to stay there. I'm not sure. I want to put it in the other room. It's a really big, long table for for uh, family gatherings. So what are you having for lunch? You know, I could have put a lot more spices into it. Or maybe I, maybe I just had a bunch of the peas and beans from the can. Yeah, it just tastes like a boiled carrot. I like boiled carrots. I don't like them when they're frozen and then reconstituted. Hey, what do you think of my plate? You probably, if you went back and watched all my pottery videos, you might be able to find when I made this one. Mary, I took six of them that were about the same shape to Mary. And she painted these little pretty pictures on them. And then... And then part of the... Part of them burned off in the kiln. You see where there's this... You can just see some of the leaves. The flower itself is gone. On this, of course, you remember seeing me make these plates, don't you? None of the ones that I made that were flat with edges that came up, none of them made it. Only these that are just about pancake-like. I don't, I don't know how to do plates yet, you know? This is, this is going to be one of my goals. I'm going to work on that. And get that studio fix, fixed, ready to... He's coming to put the electricity in next week, I think. The middle of February. Isn't that neat? I can't believe it. I can't believe I have my own studio. <sighs> it's really amazing. And I have this new room. I realized we put on three additions. We put on this room, 14 by 14, and we put on a room above the living room where it was ceiling. It was just a cathedral ceiling space. And that is 30 by 11 or something like that. 30 by 12, must be by 12. And because he didn't cut off any of those lumber when he did it. And then I have that studio down below which I don't know how big it is. Maybe it's not as big as this. Maybe 10 by 10. I'm not sure how big it is. 
uh, the studio is built under that porch, that tongue of a porch that's out there. Like the the deck goes all the way around the house now, and then there's this little place that sticks out over the valley. And that that's really kind of a neat um, a neat spot for it because it was it was an area I I could never use because it was just such a slope. What are you going to do? I mean, you could plant things and wander around in it. I have very beautiful wildflowers there. Oh, I never did anything. Um, at the bottom is where the stream, you know, all these hills, all sides, there's hills, and then it comes down right there behind you. And I'll show you later. You can look before you leave. You know, I could put more of that spice stuff right on it. Did I leave anything out when I was telling you how to make it? Basically, to make soybeans. Soybeans, if you're a veg vegan or a vegetarian, I don't know what the difference is anymore, but vegan is no, no animal products, I think. herbivore. Anyway, so I have completely forgotten now. I'm talking about vegan and vegetarian. Soybeans. You have to have protein. So you can eat all your other stuff, but you really need some protein if you're not having meat or dairy products or anything. So um, soybeans are what has been used whatever, everywhere out there in the east, I think. And then you you still lack vitamin B12. No, is that right? Yeah, right? I think it's vitamin B12 you lack it. And so you can get nutritional yeast, which are these little yellow flakes. I and mean, they taste a little bit like cheese. And you, you know, you make popcorn and you sprinkle that on it. But the, um, that's what the soybeans lack. If that's the only... Thing to keep it from being whatever it had it to be. That, no wait. So now if you want it to be a complete protein, you have to mix it with something because it's not quite complete, I don't think. So if you mix it with wheat, did you ever read Diet for a Small Planet or Recipes for a Small Planet? That was all in there. Can I get you anything? I mean, there's tomatoes behind you and avocados here that aren't ripe and oranges and apples. Now, don't everybody take one at once. It's just you. I like having the fan on in here. I have all the fans on downstairs because it circulates the hot air from the ceiling and gives it down to the floor where we need it. Also moves it between that room and this room, between the living room. So now with this, this table in here, I want to sit at the table. I have a tablecloth on it, and I have placemats on it, and I have some plates on our plates. Um, then when I walk by while I eat, want to eat something, this is the place. You know like when I want to make myself play the violin a lot? I'll leave my violin open out of the case in, or in a specific, specific spot to remind myself to play to play it, right? Because I'll think of it if I'm looking at it, and it's easy. And the same with the table. Like, if you have to set the table and do all those things, then it, for me, it's easier just get your stuff and go sit in the living room. Put your food on your lap, right? 
And I know that's not a very family thing. 